Welcome. This video is about the most radical phase of the French Revolution known as the Reign of Terror. After the election of a majority of radical revolutionaries in late 1792, a new government was formed called the National Convention. Led by left-wing Jacobin, their first act was to abolish the monarchy and form a constitutional republic. Many of the radicals started calling for the execution of Louis XVI, who was now called simply Citoyen Louis Capet. Many of the conservative and royalist members did not want regicide and wanted Louis to remain imprisoned. The vote on January 17, 1793 was close, but in the end the National Convention voted for execution. On January 21st, King Louis was executed in the Place de la Révolution in Paris by guillotine. The guillotine was a new execution device that was invented by Dr. Joseph Ignace Guillotin. It was promoted as a humane manner of execution as compared to previous methods, which served to torture as well as kill, like the breaking wheel, which was aimed to break as many of the subject's bones as possible before death. The purpose of the guillotine was simply to end life quickly and painlessly. It was in keeping with the ideals of the revolution that all citizens would be executed in the same manner, whereas under l'ancien régime, nobles and clergy had less painful methods of execution compared to the members of the third estate. After the execution of King Louis, the other royal families in Europe were horrified, and they became united in their quest to invade France and destroy the revolution. In February of 1793, conscription was introduced and France started to amass a large army because they were at war with Spain, England, the Netherlands, as well as Austria-Hungary and Prussia. Soon, a counter-revolutionary movement started to form within France, and civil war broke out. To quell the insurgency, the government formed the Committee of Public Safety. The committee was made up of 13 people and it was led by the revolutionary lawyer Maximilien Robespierre. Robespierre was known as the Incorruptible, and he was a fierce Jacobin and one of the most influential figures of the revolution. In April of 1793, the Girondists were expelled from the National Convention. The committee started arresting people suspected of treason or any counter-revolutionary involvement. They were urged on by the fiery newspaper L'Ami du Peuple. It was famous for its journalist, Jean-Paul Marat who was known for writing in his long baths that he used to treat a horribly painful skin condition that it was thought he had contracted from his time living in the sewers. Marat was a fierce anti-monarchist and revolutionary republican and he stirred up public anger with his scathing editorials in the newspaper. On July 13, 1793, a Girondist supporter Charlotte Corday entered Marat's home and murdered him in the bathtub with a knife. Marat was immortalized by the revolutionary painter Jacques-Louis David in his painting The Death of Marat. Charlotte Corday was arrested and executed by guillotine on July 17th. The committee became increasingly paranoid and executions became rampant, especially in Paris where they became a daily occurrence. It is believed that as many as 300,000 people were arrested and up to 40,000 were executed many by guillotine. It is ironic that the ideal of due process that was so beloved by the revolutionaries was cast aside to quell anti-revolutionary activity. Revolts broke out all over France and the Republican army was dispatched to quell local uprisings. Some historians consider the total civil war to have lasted until 1796 with a total of 170,000 to 450,000 deaths. With the increasing paranoia, the Committee of Public Safety began to turn on its own. The popular figure, Georges Danton, and his supporters were expelled because of their moderate positions. In April of 1794, he and his supporters were executed by guillotine. Danton's last words were addressed to his executioner. He said to him, Don't forget to show my head to the people. It's well worth seeing. Robespierre became increasingly tyrannical, and critics were afraid to speak out for fear of execution. However, eventually the situation grew so dire that at a meeting in June of 1794, three colleagues called him a dictator to his face. On July 28th, Robespierre and his remaining Jacobin colleagues were arrested. 
Before he could be executed, Robespierre tried to commit suicide by shooting himself in the head, but he missed and simply blew off his jaw. He and his supporters were then beheaded by guillotine. One of the changes made by Robespierre was to adopt the French Republican calendar. Its main goal was to detach itself from religious and royalist influence. Each month had three ten-day weeks, and each day had ten hours, and each hour had a hundred minutes. One of the months was called Thermidor. Because France was in the month of Thermidor when Robespierre was executed, the end of the reign of terror and cooling period is known as the Thermidorian reaction. France had also created and adopted the metric system, which would soon spread throughout the world, and Robespierre had also instituted a new national religion called the Cult of the Supreme Being. Many of these changes would be rolled back in the years to come, but many would stay and continue to influence world history. The Reign of Terror is often cited as an example of how revolutions can go wrong and how the ideals of the revolution are completely forgotten when those who take power become corrupt, like Robespierre and the Jacobins.